specific heat. Let us take 1 kg of water and 1 kg of oil. Measure their temperatures. Let us suppose the temperatures of both are same that is 20 degrees centigrade. Now heat both of them for 1 minute. Now let us observe how much temperature has raised in both. See the water has increased from 20 degrees to 50 degrees. That is there is a raise of 30 degrees centigrade. And the oil has increased from 20 degrees centigrade to 80 degrees centigrade. 60 degrees raised. So, the raise in temperature depends on nature of the material. Let us take water in two different bowls. The first bowl contains 250 grams of water and the second one contains 1 kg of water. Let the initial temperatures of both bowls are same. Now heat both the bowls till they reach 60 degrees centigrade. Which bowl takes less time? Obviously the bowl having less mass. The bowl having more mass takes more time to reach the same temperature. So the amount of heat energy is directly proportional to the mass. We can write this statement as Q is proportional to M. The difference in temperature is also proportional to Q that is Q is proportional to delta T. By joining these two equations we can write Q is proportional to M multiplied by delta T. We can write this as Q is equals to ms delta T. By this equation we can also write S is equals to Q by m delta T. Here S is specific heat. The specific heat of a substance is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of the substance by 1 degree centigrade. Now let us know the units of specific heat. In CGS system the units are calories per gram degree centigrade. In SI system the units are joules per kg Kelvin. We know that one calorie is equals to 4.186 joules. By this we can write one calorie per gram degree centigrade is equals to 4.186 into 10 to the power of 3 joules per kg Kelvin. Here is the table showing different specific heats of materials. That means aluminum has 0 0.22, copper has 0 0.9, 0 0.093 and see the water it has highest specific heat value 1. The substance having low specific heat value absorbs heat very fastly and the substance having high specific heat value absorbs heat slowly. Now let us know the applications of specific heat in our daily life. Have you ever been to beaches? The climate there is moderate, pleasant. It is neither too hot or not too cold. Not only beaches, the cities that are in the coastal region, they are also moderate climate. You know why? Because the water body present there. This water absorbs large amounts of heat due to high specific heat. Do you like samosa? Of course everyone. A samosa appears to be cool outside. But it is hot when we eat it. Because the curry inside the samosa contains ingredients with the highest specific heat. Watermelon brought out from refrigerator retains its coolness for a longer time because it contains large amount of water. Did you observe the cookware in our kitchens? They have coated with copper 
and aluminium as bottom you know why as copper and aluminium have very low specific heat it absorbs the heat energy very fastly so the food will be cooked in less time now try to answer the following questions